Yo, what's poppin' guys, Sizzle here, and today we're taking a look at Fistful of Frags. It's a pretty simple, free-to-play FPS where you're basically a cowboy. It runs off the Source engine, which is the same engine used by other popular games such as CSGO, TF2, or Apex Legends. Just like those games, this game can run in a potato and runs pretty smooth across the board. It isn't trying to be an insane visual game or anything other than an Old West shooting FPS game, although it does have its fair share of cool visuals such as this waterfall. Similar to many other Source games, it supports custom maps as well so you have an infinite amount of maps to play if you do play this for an extended period of time, and all the servers are community hosted and you can even host one yourself, so you don't ever need to worry about the game server shutting down. While there are many game modes, the only one worth playing in my opinion, and also the only one that the people who consistently play this game seem to play, which is actually a surprisingly high amount of people, would be Deathmatch. Deathmatch works like a mix of your standard FPS and a battle royale mode. Load in with your own loadout, which can include weapons, gear, perks, and even a shooting style. However, you can also find crates on the map that will respawn that generally have slightly more powerful weapons. Of all the things I use in this game, I personally like the bow, most likely because it's so similar to other game characters like Hanzo from Overwatch or the Huntsman from TF2. But all the weapons seem to be viable and pretty fun to use, which gives you quite a lot of variety if you do want it. The movement and shooting is pretty simple with semi-randomized accuracy, but in order to stay accurate to the Wild West theme, standing still is pretty much the only way to actually be accurate, so you need to time when you shoot in order to try and avoid your enemies. Another important aspect that slows down the pace of the game overall is that reloading takes quite a while for most weapons, meaning every encounter is more about mind games than accuracy. The movement is the same as you have in most games, and there's nothing special to it. You can just walk, turn, and jump in the exact same ways that you would expect it to work. You can also heal by drinking booze, although similar to getting drunk in real life, this makes you a bit woozy and makes your vision in game swing, so you want to make sure that you only heal when there aren't enemies around. Overall, this is a very simple and fun FPS, and I can honestly see myself going back to it whenever I want to play something more slow-paced and simple. And if you're just trying to relax and have fun with friends, especially in the larger group since you can host your own server and this supports a high player count, I would highly recommend giving this game a shot, especially since it is free to play. Overall, I'd personally give this game a 3 out of 5.